Welcome to the automotive learning video. This video, we will discuss the basic operation of two-stroke engines. What is a two-stroke engine? Two-stroke or two-stroke cycle engine is a type of internal combustion engine that completes a power cycle with two strokes, up and down movements, of the piston during one power cycle, this power cycle being completed in one revolution of the crankshaft. We remember the previous video about the four-stroke engine, it is explained that, a four-stroke engine requires four strokes of the piston to complete a power cycle during two crankshaft revolutions. Two-stroke engine, the end of the combustion stroke and the beginning of the compression stroke happens simultaneously, with the intake and exhaust or scavenging functions occurring at the same time. Two-stroke engines often have a high power to weight ratio, power being available in a narrow range of rotational speeds called the power band. Two-stroke engines have fewer moving parts than four-stroke engines. You find two-stroke engines in such devices as motorcycles, chainsaws and jet skis because two-stroke engines have three important advantages over four-stroke engines. First, two-stroke engines do not have valves, which simplifies their construction and lowers their weight. Second, two-stroke engines fire once every revolution, while four-stroke engines fire once every other revolution. This gives two-stroke engines a significant power boost. Third, two-stroke engines can work in any orientation, which can be important in something like a chainsaw. Standard four-stroke engine may have problems with oil flow unless it is upright, and solving this problem can add complexity to the engine. These advantages make two-stroke engines lighter, simpler and less expensive to manufacture. Two-stroke engines also have the potential to pack about twice the power into the same space because there are twice as many power strokes per revolution. Combination of lightweight and twice the power gives two-stroke engines a great power-to-weight ratio compared to many four-stroke engine designs. What are the components of two-stroke engine? Two-stroke engine have the same components as four-stroke engine. Here's the explanation. Main components of two-stroke engine, moving parts, piston, connecting rod, crankshaft, and reed valve. Static parts, cylinder, cylinder head, spark plug, intake and exhaust port, transfer port, and crankcase. Tar the functions of each component of this two-stroke engine. Let's understand together these components. The piston serves to compress the air in the cylinder or combustion chamber, and serves to receive the pressure resulting from combustion. Piston also directs the air and fuel mixture from the transfer port so that it can flow to the top of the combustion chamber so that exhaust gases are pushed and out through the exhaust port. The connecting rod serves to transmit the force from the piston to the crankshaft. Crankshaft serves to receive the force from the connecting rod and convert it into rotation. The reed valve functions to open the intake port when a vacuum occurs in the crankcase so that the air mixture from the carburetor or injection system enters the crankcase. Reed valve also functions to close the intake port when the pressure in the crankcase rises when the piston goes down. The cylinder serves as a place for the piston to move up and down. Cylinder also houses the cylinder head mount, intake, transfer, and exhaust ports. Cylinder head functions to form the combustion chamber together with the cylinder and piston. Spark plugs are used to generate sparks to start combustion. Intake port serves to channel the air fuel mixture from the carburetor or injection system to the crankcase through the reed valve. Exhaust port functions as a channel for exhausting combustion gases from the cylinder or combustion chamber to the exhaust manifold. The transfer port serves to channel the air fuel mixture from the crankcase to the cylinder during the intake or scavenging process. The crankcase functions as a suction chamber and a temporary shelter for the air fuel mixture before being channeled into the cylinder during the intake stroke. How do two-stroke engines work? Following is a detailed explanation of the principle of a two-stroke engine. 
Two-stroke gasoline engine operates with two cycles consisting of upstroke and downstroke. In upstroke, there are two events. In the piston or in the crankcase, the volume of the crankcase increases as the piston moves up, while at the top of the piston there is a compression stroke. As the crankcase volume increases, a vacuum occurs and this causes the reed valve to open. Air and fuel mixture is sucked into the crankcase. Meanwhile, the volume of the cylinder above the piston decreases. A mixture of air and fuel that enters through the transfer port is suppressed. On top of the piston there is a compression stroke. At the end of the compression stroke, the spark plug sparks to initiate combustion in the combustion chamber. The downstroke, the piston moves from the top dead center to the bottom dead center because in the combustion chamber, combustion occurs after the spark plug sparks. Piston is pushed down due to the high pressure from the combustion. When the piston moves down and the exhaust port opens, the combustion gases from the combustion chamber exit through the exhaust port. When the piston moves down too, the pressure in the crankcase increases due to the downward movement of the piston. The piston continues to move down, the pressure in the crankcase increases, and then the transfer port opens. Pressure in the crankcase causes the air-fuel mixture in the crankcase to flow into the cylinder through the transfer port. Remaining combustion gas in the combustion chamber is pushed to the exhaust port by the new gas from the transfer port, so that the cylinder is now filled with new gas. Process then repeats to the upstroke as previously described. Following describes step by step in detail each cycle that occurs on a two-stroke engine. Two-stroke engine, the end of the combustion stroke and the beginning of the compression stroke happen simultaneously, with the intake and exhaust or scavenging functions occurring at the same time when piston at bottom dead center. The beginning of upstroke, piston is at bottom dead center, transfer and exhaust ports open. Sure at the crank case makes air fuel mixture flows into combustion chamber through transfer port. The remaining combustion gas in the combustion chamber is pushed to the exhaust port by the new gas from the transfer port, so that the cylinder is now filled with new gas or air fuel mixture. The piston moves up towards to the top dead center. When the piston begins to close the transfer port and exhaust port, there are two events that occur, events above the piston and below the piston. As the crankcase volume increases due to upward piston movement, a vacuum occurs and this causes the reed valve to open. Air and fuel mixture from carburetor or fuel injection system is sucked into the crankcase. Meanwhile, the volume of the cylinder above the piston decreases. A mixture of air and fuel that enters through the transfer port is suppressed by the piston. So above the piston there is a compression stroke. The vacuum in the crankcase causes the air and fuel mixture to enter the crankcase through the intake port. Above the piston, the compression stroke continues, the piston moves towards the top dead center causes the temperature and pressure in the combustion chamber to rise. Or the piston moves up, the vacuum in the crankcase continues to increase, the more air-fuel mixture enters from the intake port. Meanwhile the temperature and pressure of the gas in the combustion chamber is increasing as well. So, when the piston moves up or upstroke, there are two events. There is a compression stroke above the piston, while under the piston or in the crankcase, the air-fuel mixture is sucked from the intake port. Few degrees before the piston reaches top dead center at the end of the compression stroke, the spark plug sparks. Air propagation occurs from the spark plug around the combustion chamber, and the fuel and air mixture then ignites. Under the piston, in the crankcase, the air and fuel mixture still flows into the crankcase. Power stroke begins. Combustion occurs in the cylinder. This closed explosion causes the gases in the combustion chamber to expand rapidly, pushing the piston down and generating linear force. As the piston moves down, the crankcase volume decreases so that the pressure in the crankcase increases. Speed valve closed.
A linear force received by the piston from the combustion pressure is transmitted by the connecting rod to the crankshaft. This motion is then converted into rotary power by crankshaft. As the piston continues to move downwards, the pressure of air-fuel mixture in the crankcase increases. As the volume of the combustion chamber increases, the pressure in the combustion chamber decreases. Downward movement of the piston causes the top surface of the piston to approach the exhaust port. Based on the explanation above, when the piston goes down or downstroke, two important things happen. First is above the piston, a power stroke occurs, the second is below the piston, pressurizing the air-fuel mixture. The piston has passed the exhaust port on the cylinder wall, the exhaust port hole opens. Combustion gases in the cylinder then exit through the exhaust port. The piston continues to move down. Exhaust ports are getting wider, while the transfer ports are starting to open. The air-fuel mixture pressure in the crankcase is quite high, the fuel-air mixture enters the cylinder through the transfer port. The air-fuel mixture pushes the combustion gases out through the exhaust port. The remaining combustion gas in the combustion chamber is pushed to the exhaust port by the new gas from the transfer port, so that the cylinder is now filled with new gas or air-fuel mixture. The two-stroke engine, the end of the combustion stroke and the beginning of the compression stroke happen simultaneously, with the intake and exhaust or scavenging functions occurring at the same time when piston at bottom dead center. The process then repeats to the upstroke as previously described. After we discuss in detail about the two-stroke engine, what can we conclude? What is a two-stroke engine? In simple terms it can be explained that, a two-stroke engine is a type of internal combustion engine that completes a power cycle with two strokes. The two strokes are upstroke and downstroke of the piston during one power cycle. This power cycle is completed in one revolution of the crankshaft. Thank you.